Hello and welcome to UK Theme Parks. My name's Adam and this is Attractions 15, our news roundup from theme parks and attractions across the United Kingdom. Now then, we've got a few things to cover today. We've got uh, a petition that kind of didn't go very far. We've got an extra ride coming to Legoland. We've got news from Drayton Manor. We've got news from Pleasure Island, which is closed, as you may know. We've got an imminent Fort Park announcement over the next 24, 48 hours. And we've got Fancy Island to cover as well, who are gonna have some new rides but some departures as well for 2018. Now that we'll start with Legoland because we just put up a video about Legoland and their new attractions. Well, since announcing Miniland and Lego Reef, they are now uh, just announced that um, they are opening a, a new cinema show, a new 4D cinema show, would you believe, based around Ninjago. Now, it's an easy win for Lego. They do seem to have quite a lot of shows going on, to be honest, but you know we've seen it in the past with Lego movie shows and uh, you know Lego racers and the amount of 4D shows you could actually catch. You can, I think there's usually about three or four and at once. So you could potentially go into the cinema four times on your trip to, uh, to, to Legoland and see a different film every time. That will be joined this year by Ninjago, a new adventure, a new uh, ninja adventure. Very little is known about it, but it's gonna be another addition as well to go with Miniland and indeed the Lego Reef, the, the coral reef that they'll be opening the digital one for 2018. So Legoland, they're not done. Um, you know, the Lego uh, Ninjago movie will open in the 4D cinema at the start of the season with all the other attractions as well. So Legoland will be ready to go at the start of the season. Now then, uh, we did mention in a few shows back now that Drayton Manor had closed at their big wheel, been completely removed from the park, not expected to be re relocated or kind of taken down for maintenance, completely removed. Well, the sad news is as well from their website, the chairlift has also disappeared. Now, the chairlift has been at the park for many, many years. It's one of the original rides. Um, it leaves from sort of where um, the Maelstrom is and it goes right over the top, uh, past Apocalypse and outside the park, over the entrance area, outside the park, and then you loop and come back on your yourself um, it's, it, it provides some good views of the park it'd be wrong to say it didn't because it really did it goes right down the centre you can't see the zoo you can see the rides and attractions and everything else that it has to offer but frequently closed and we mean frequently closed and this isn't just due to weather it is closed in windy weather like most chairlifts are it's frequently got problems now we got on it a couple of years back and took some cracking shots which you'll see on our website in the description below and you know it said the views were amazing but the time we went last season, it was closed. We've heard it's had quite a bit of downtime. When we check the Drayton Manor website, kind of what's open and what's not open, we see that that is, it tends to be closed with some of the other attractions as well. We're not that surprised. It, you know, historically, it's a real shame to lose another historic ride from the UK, but the chairlift will be gone from Drayton Manor in 2018. As it stands, uh, they've not announced any new attractions for 2018. Whether or not when the park opened for February half term, it might become apparent what, where, you know, what, where the wheel, uh, the wheel was. That, that was a lot of W's there. Where the wheel was there might be a new attraction or there certainly might be plans for the coming future. It's quite a big space, it's gonna be quite a big open space as well. The chairlift, you probably won't notice it's gone part bench. Can't imagine a ride's gonna fit in, certainly in the station area where it was, but no chairlift for Drayton Manor in 2018. Fantasy Island, on the other hand, have two new attractions. Now, you may have seen that Amazing Confusion was dismantled. You know, this was uh, adapted to be a part model and it's been at Fantasy Island since, what? Well, so I can't even remember. It's been there so long at Fancy Island, I cannot remember when it went. Certainly at all our times of visiting, Amazing Confusion has been there. And you know, it gives people uh, a thrill. It's definitely a thrill ride. It gives people a bit of a headache, sometimes a bit of a blood clot where it hangs you upside down, but a fantastic ride. It has now gone. And that particular location, as far as we're aware, is gonna be replaced by the Frisbee ride which was announced a few weeks back. Obviously where it's owned by Mellors now, traveling rides and attractions can come to the park and it can really boost the lineup. Uh, they lost G-Force, they boosted a ride last year as well, and that seems to be replaced by the Magic Ride. I have to say, I don't really know what the Magic Ride is. Answers below if you know exactly what it is. We've seen a picture, there's a picture up in the corner now of what it looks like. Um, you know, it looks a great ride. It really does look a great ride. My only problem is, you know, the effort they're putting into Millennium Coast this year to paint it and make it look, you know, like real part of the park. We've kind of got rid of a permanent ride, which we believe is going to be switched to a traveling ride. And, you know, for the, for, the, uh, for the owners, it's going to be something new as well. I don't, don't think there's particularly any of these traveling in the UK at the moment. So I understand sort of the principle behind getting on the traveling circuit. But without getting permanent rides into the park, the park is going to feel a little bit more fairy. Now, we are going to head to Fancy Island this year. We haven't been for a couple of years. We haven't had very good experiences at Fancy Island. I don't think we've ever had a good experience at Fancy Island. Um, whilst some of the rides are brilliant, the Beast in particular is absolutely brilliant. Best example of a top scan in the UK. You know, as a general feeling, we never had a good 
never really had a good day there. But we've heard great things about it since its takeover. And you know, we're really itching to get back on the Odyssey. The last two times we've gone, the Odyssey's been closed. I can't even remember what it's like. Uh, it's been that long since I went on it. And obviously the new look of the Millennium Coaster and even the new rides to draw in and go. So we will be heading up to Fancy Island this year. Keep an eye on our social media channels. Keep an eye here on YouTube because we will, of course, vlog when we're there and show you exactly what's going on at the park. We are um, 24 hours away now from an announcement from Fort Park on their new attraction for 2018. They have been putting lots of spoilers up about the safe zone, uh, what the safe zone is. No one really knows. You know, the speculation was it's uh, it's taken over X No Way Out and that the ride will change itself. Other people may think that perhaps, um, you know, the maze that is there at the moment may be extended and may actually be used in the corridors and uh, various other bits and pieces. I'm bringing it to the front rather than the back because let's face it, the slammer area of the park is completely dead at the moment, might make it more popular for 2018 and seem more of a big kind of a big deal, really, where X would remain untouched. We don't really know at the moment. Um, it'd be a real shame to lose X. We've said it before, and we'll say it again. It's a great family attraction, and people can say Fort Park is catering for thrill rides all they like, but all their recent additions have indeed been for the family. Um, and once they shut, um, you know, a mixture of family and thrill rides. It's no secret about the fact that Fort Park can't just add, a, you know, add up teenagers because they're just not making the money. But we're really interested to see. We love Walking Dead. We're massive fans of Walking Dead. So keep an eye out on our YouTube tomorrow because we will undoubtedly be covering um, as soon as we hear it what is coming to Fort Park 2018. And we can't wait. We can't wait to hear it. It's the last of the Merlin Parks um, to kind of announce what they're doing for this year. And we can't wait. We're hoping it's really something big. Let's wait and see. Stay tuned. There's definitely more coming on that one. Now, there was a petition for uh, American Adventure. I, I have to say, I missed the actual petition itself. The petition was handed in to get the American Adventure reopened. Uh, I think there was 10 to 20,000 people that signed it. There might even have been more. Um, obviously, the owners didn't care, and that won't be happening. Now, it's very nice that, you know, when a park is open and maybe operating, that you put a petition in to try and keep it open and try and get investors interested in it, you know, try and get some money ploughed back into it if it's not doing very well and help it get new attractions. But for a park that's closed, kind of derelict with no rides there, I'm not really sure what the, the thought process behind it was. Um, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna reopen anytime soon, sadly, and uh, that's dead and buried. If you didn't hear about it, you haven't missed anything. If you did hear about it, that's the result. No go on American Adventure. We won't be seeing it come back again. Now the biggest thing, and this is the last thing as well, is Pleasure Island. You may remember may remember Pleasure Island shut at the end of the 2016 season after a couple of years of uh, kind of financial difficulties. Poor investment didn't really help them. Um, you know the location actually we'd we'd been to that area because there's a caravan park next to it called Fort Park, which is a Haven Park, and we'd stayed there and we never actually went into um, we never went in there. Um, and it seems strange because we're massive theme park enthusiasts. We go to parks up and down the country, but there just wasn't anything dragging us in. You know they had a lot of rides for over 1.4 meters. They you know a lot of thrill rides in there, and it just wasn't anything for my two children. Um, you know, one of them still isn't 1.4, but certainly the other one uh, is now 1.4, wasn't then. There just wasn't anything to go in there and do. So we gave it a miss. The, the surprise that it, it shut, sadly, um, didn't catch us by surprise at all. We kind of saw it coming. You know, it was poor investment in farms and cinemas and, you know, all the things that just aren't going to drive people in. However, it's gone a year now and, you know, you've probably seen lots of Explorer videos across uh, the YouTube platform. If you haven't, search now. There's lots of people who have gone into the park and kind of explored what's there. There's quite a few rides and attractions still there. Um, the sea lions were there for quite a long time as well. They have now gone. They are now putting an auction. Uh, and we'll read what they've done. So, Monday the 5th and 6th of March, the two viewing days. Uh, we're assuming that um, this will be at the park itself because it does include uh, rides and attractions. So the auction will be at 9am on the 7th of March to sell all the items uh, and all tools, uh, workshop items, vehicles, catering equipment, shutters, ice cream freezers, etc, etc, from the park. March 8th auction starts at 9am and it will sell uh, the attractions, this is a day later. This will sell uh, the 1904 Carousel, which they have, um, the Water Ride, which they have, the Dodgems, um, the Ghost Train, the Century 2000, be interesting to see who picks that up, um, the Tinkaboo a Water Ride, all amusement machines, video games, the pushers, the e-machines, the stock items, um, they've got bumper cars, petrol, petrol cars, that will all be going 
to auction on the 8th of March. Now then, for our general viewers, um, you know, whilst we like to collect theme park memorabilia, as we all do, I don't think this is going to be kind of something you're going to be able to go and buy the Century 2000 for sort of five, six hundred quid. I fully imagine this is to encourage um, other theme parks to come and have a look at the attractions they got. I believe the, the small top spin ride was still there as well on the last adventure I saw. So there are quite a few rides and attractions still there. Whilst they've sold some of the signage and we know some of the enthusiasts have picked up some of the signage, it'll be really, really interesting to see who picks up what. You know, the auction arguably is quite late. Um, you know, beginning of March seems quite late when if they'd have done it perhaps now at the beginning of February, we could have seen some of these attractions open at parks across the UK for the new 2018 season. But, you know, if you are interested, you've got the money, you run a park or anything like that, put that date in your diary, the 5th of March, um, right the way through to the 8th of March at the fantasy uh at the uh, pleasure island auction and you know you could you could nab yourself a bargain the rides uh, as far as we're aware have been kept in good condition you know the park hasn't been vandalized at all. a lot of people have got in there but it doesn't seem to have been vandalized at all and you know it's massive but at the same time it does really signal the end to this park you know where rides have generally stayed there obviously the boomerang left but where rides have generally stayed there um, you know, there was always hope that perhaps more money would be ploughed back into it and they would reopen it again. This is really the final nail in the coffin for yet another UK fee park. That's it. That's it for today. So keep an eye out over the next 24, 48 hours of Fort Park announcement. We will be back. We will bring you the absolute latest on that. My name's Adam. This has been UK Theme Parks and we'll see you next time.